Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Um, my name is Destiny, if you guys have never been here. So for today's video, I am going to be doing my go-to makeup look. Um, so every time that I wanna get ready and I feel like doing my makeup, this is what I do. And I'm about to show you guys, it's really easy. It's a really simple makeup look. I hope you guys enjoy this video. I'm really excited about it because it's very simple and I feel like everyone can attain this look. Make sure to subscribe, like, and comment down below if you guys feel like it. Um, subscribe if you guys want to see more of me. I'm just going to apologize like in advance for the glare in my glasses. I know I'm seeing it and I'm trying to move right now to stop it. But uh, I'm blind and I need my glasses. Let's just go ahead and get right into the video. Before I start, I'm going to use my moisturizer. I just washed my face right now. It's really early in the morning. So yeah, I'm gonna use this moisturizer really quickly. I talked about it in the what I got myself for Christmas and I was saying how I was using it and I was really liking it. And honestly, I still do. I love this moisturizer. One thing that I'm not super in love with is the scent, just because it's too like citrusy for me. Okay, so for this look, I'm gonna go ahead and just skip out on primer just for today, just because I applied the moisturizer and that can be kind of like a primer. Uh, next, I'm gonna do my eyebrows and I'm gonna be using this e.l.f. Ultra Precise Brow Pencil. This is like $5. And I got this for Christmas because um, I was telling my mom that I really wanted it. Like I wanted to try it, it was really cheap and I had heard really good things about it. And honestly, it's really, really good. I'm actually like gonna stop using the Morphe one that I got because I think this one's a lot better than the Morphe one. Okay, so first I'm just going to brush them up. It looks very messy right now, but I can see exactly where I want to like conceal my eyebrow. Okay, so I just did my eyebrows off camera. My eyebrows are... Uh, they're kind of weird today. I mean, whatever. So I used that and then I used my foundation just to clean them up. I usually use foundation to clean them up. When I do this makeup, I don't use concealer for it. I use foundation to clean up my eyebrows when I want it to look more natural, I guess. Okay, so next I'm just gonna move on to my foundation. I'm gonna be using this Maybelline Fit Me uh, Matte and Poreless Foundation in the shade 222. To apply the foundation, I'm gonna be using this Real Techniques Expert Face Brush. And I'm gonna be wetting it with some Mario Badescu Rose Water Facial Spray. take this brush and I'm just gonna blend my foundation I'm going to be patting in instead of like rubbing the foundation around oh this might be a little dark for me I'm not sure how it looks on camera but in person I think it's I mean I think it's fine because when I set it down with the powder it'll get a little lighter after I go in with the brush I'm gonna take this beauty sponge this is from Morphe and I'm just gonna blend out the foundation just to remove any streaks that the brush could have left on me. I'm not sure if you guys can see like the difference between this side of my face and this side of my face but it looks very natural but it looks a lot like smoother and put together. It has a very like natural finish and you can build it up but for um for this video and for today I'm just gonna leave the one layer. Okay, I actually really like the finish of that. I'm not sure if you guys can see it. I'm gonna go a little closer. Okay, so I just wanted to say really quickly that um, when I put foundation around my nose, I don't like to put too much, but it just looks really ugly. So I tend, like it tends to separate and stuff. Um, it's gonna be the first thing I set just to make sure it stays in place, like the foundation stays in place. So like I said, my nose is the first thing that I'm going to set in place. Just to make sure that the foundation doesn't go anywhere. Okay, so I'm just gonna go ahead with my with my blender and just go over my face with my foundation. 
just to make sure that nothing has creased and everything is blended. I'm gonna be taking this Maybelline Fit Me Loose Powder in the shade 10 Fair Light. This is honestly like my favorite loose powder ever. It just leaves like your face very smooth and stuff. Also the foundation that I put on my neck, I'm gonna go ahead and set that just a bit of smooth. <laughs> Okay, so that is my face all set. I've done my eyebrows, I've done my foundation, I set my foundation. The next thing I'm gonna do is just bronze up a little bit. Um, sometimes I won't use any product and I'll just go in with a brush and whatever it has on it. That's what I use. Um, but today I'm gonna be using this Too Faced um, Dark Chocolate Soleil Bronzer. Okay, so I think that's the face all done. That's usually what I do. I just need two more things and I'm done. This is such a quick and easy makeup look. Yeah, the face is looking good. I really like the way it looks. I hope you guys can see it. I'm trying to get closer. The next step is mascara. And sometimes I even skip this one because I tend to forget mascara. I don't know how I forget. It just became like a routine that I forget to put on mascara. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that. I have this one that I got for my birthday. <laughs> I haven't opened it, so it should be good. I just, I don't use mascara. And I use, um, if I use any mascara, like I don't buy any. It's just when I get like any sample sizes because I don't use mascara. So I don't finish like the, the large sizes of mascara. So I'm just gonna be using this one. This is the it, uh, it Cosmetics Superhero Mascara. Cause I'm just gonna put some mascara on my lashes. I don't know if you guys can see the difference, but I'm blind and I can see it, so... Okay, so after they're dry, I'm just gonna go with this fully and push them up. Okay, so the last thing I'm gonna do is my lips. So, um, I've been obsessed with this lip gloss for a while now. It's really, really good. <laughs> okay. So for my lips, I'm going to be using this uh, Fenty Beauty Gloss Balm in the shade Fuzzy. Sometimes I'll line my lips and then I'll go ahead and put this on, but today I'm just going to put on the lip gloss on its own. So this is what the lip gloss looks like on my lips. Um, yeah, so this is what my makeup usually consists of. I just do my eyebrows, my foundation, um, sometimes mascara if I don't forget, and my lip gloss. A little bit of bronzer just to bring back color to my, to my face. And yeah, that's pretty much all I do. Um, so I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I really enjoyed making it. Um, I like sharing my go-to super easy, like, what did, how long did it even take me? 10 minutes, 20 minutes? Mm, I talk a lot, so maybe like 30 minutes, but um if you guys aren't talking um i'm sure you guys will finish it a lot faster than i did it's really easy it's really simple it's something you can take to school it's something you can take to work you can take anywhere it's really hot here in texas where i live so this makeup is really good and it doesn't feel like you're wearing a lot so your face is not gonna be like looking cakey or it's not gonna feel like super heavy on it's not gonna feel really heavy on you when you're out in the heat um because apparently texas and winter don't don't go together they've never met they're not friends or something i don't know um but yeah it's just really hot here and i really like doing my makeup like this because it just it doesn't feel heavy at all it's like very breathable it's like your skin but better makeup type of thing um and i don't know it's just really good for texas weather so if you guys live anywhere where it's really hot like it is in texas um you guys are gonna like this i think i hope obviously you guys can change like the mascara the foundation all of that you guys can change the lip on it do something else but i feel like because the foundation and everything is like so simple um i like doing lip gloss because it's very simple as well and yeah i really enjoyed sharing my simple everyday go-to makeup with you guys um 
If you guys enjoyed this video, go ahead and leave a thumbs up, leave a comment, and subscribe to my channel if you guys want to see more of me. Um, also, go ahead and follow me on all my other social medias just to keep up with me because I will be a lot more active on there. And I will be keeping up with YouTube. So you guys get it. <laughs> I'm going to be a lot more active on here and I'm going to be a lot more consistent because I just really enjoy making these videos and I have a lot of them planned and I'll see you guys in the next video. <laughs> Bye!